Hi guys, so this is just a few tips and tricks for your new Xiaomi Pocophone F1. Okay, so first let's cover some essential things. As you can see, I have a battery percentage showing up on the screen and usually you don't have it with the stock team. So you just need to change team on your phone. Uh, to do so, go to the teams, of course and search for a team called Sand and once it finds it, it's this one you just apply it and you will have a battery percentage there and as you know Poco has still not included uh, notification icons next to the clock they said they would do it in some next version of software but uh, I have put uh, WhatsApp shortcut icon here to do so, just uh, go to your widgets, whatever launcher you're using, I'm using Nova Launcher. And you have unread messages, what's up? Just put it there, create. And basically, it's, it's usually big sized, but once you shrink it, it becomes like this. So yeah, I already have it, so I don't need it. Other, another thing I've read on uh, XDA developers, a lot of people are complaining about keyboard bugs. Uh, multi-touch bugs stuff like that okay so I found no such bugs whatsoever however you need to uh, disable few things in your settings uh, first of all go to uh, sound and vibration and uh, disable vibrate on tap that's the crucial thing while typing or doing some uh, fast touches and uh, other thing, go to settings, search for gestures and uh, take a screenshot, it usually stands three slides down, disable it. Once you disable it, you'll have no uh, problems whatsoever. And one more thing, I've done it, so I don't, I don't like to overuse my buttons, so I've uh, selected in gestures when I press press back and hold it will take a screenshot and when I press uh, home button for a long time it will turn off the screen another thing you can do with your POCO is to enable uh, face recognition it works very fast as you can see now it was locked okay now I turn it pointed to myself and it unlocks it uh, okay, how to... Uh, most of you don't have this option uh, in your POCO. A simple way to get it is to change your region to Hong Kong. Once it is on Hong Kong, you can go to uh, lock screen and password and you will have a face data option there. Uh, okay, a uh, few more things. Did you know that your POCO has enabled uh, built-in call recording? You can uh, go to phone app settings, call recording, you can just turn it on. It uh, works great. Uh, I don't like Stoke uh, Poco Launcher because it doesn't uh, have Google Now integration. So I've decided to download Nova Launcher. Uh, you can download Nova Launcher for free on, uh, on uh, Google Play. And then you just Google for Nova Launcher Google Now. On their site, you will have one application uh, and Nova Google Companion. And once you install it, that's it. There's your Google Now feed. Also, what I like to do, that's where I left the empty place here. Uh, I go to weather. And then it asks me uh, access weather instantly from your home screen. Add. Add. And there it is. For me, the best weather. It's uh, fast and it's pretty accurate. So let's put it there. Uh, one thing uh, you can install also on your phone on any Android phone without root or with root. It's YouTube Advanced. YouTube Advanced is an uh, option uh, version moded of a YouTube app that uh, enables you a few things. Most uh, uh, most important thing for me is uh, to play video while screen is off. Okay, let's see. I don't know anything. You know, they, they can say the shit they want to say. They had the fake 
there you go. You only, you also get controls and unlock screen for it. Yeah, so yeah, if you go back, it will still keep playing stuff like that, so you can work multiple things. What the hell is this song about? Okay, no problem. Uh, so yeah, th those are a few basic things. Also, in the camera, uh, I always disable AI. It's still not good enough for me. Uh, be sure when you're on settings to uh, turn on video stabilization. Uh, yeah, I need to go to video settings for that. Okay, settings. Video quality, choose whatever you want. You can go up to 4K. Uh, and image stabilization is turned on. Also, when photo mode, you have this uh, nice option that uh, focus and shoot. So basically, you focus. And once it focused, you just press again on the same thing and it will shoot. So that's kind of neat. Okay. Uh, what else can I show you? Yeah, you can always enable grid lines, so you can arrange your photo better. And that's probably it, some few things. Uh, I found some things missing on uh, Poco that I hope some software updates will get it. For uh, instance, the sound quality over the headpiece is very low. And Snapdragon 845 uh, supports a much better sound output, so I hope we'll get that uh, sooner. Uh, also, as I said, when you get messages or something, you don't get a notification here. So that's really, really irritating for me. They can move this clock as I don't need it, just put some icons at least for WhatsApp or something when I'm in other apps so I can choose it. Uh, yeah, so, um, most of you use... Uh, gestures to navigate uh, screen and they're okay yeah, as you can see full screen display uh, full screen gestures and now you lose the navigation bar you, when you swipe it back it goes to home when you hold it it gives you your recent apps i don't like it why because i lose this wonderful option uh, okay let's say i'm i don't know googling and someone sends me a message, I go into that message, whatever it is. Then I want to go back to Google. I just double press and another double press gets me back into my last app that I used. So kind of like that. Also, those gestures are confusing when you're in game or something like that. I never know which side to pull, which side to swipe. I don't know, kind of confusing. So yeah, that's it for me. Um, anyway, I'm, I'm very pleased with Poco. I get around uh, 7 plus screen on time hours of screen on time uh, camera is decent i will maybe link some photos with today i have no problems with apps uh, running whatsoever nothing is crashing uh, nothing is slow it's very fast phone and yeah that's it